Hey guys, J-Man here with another video review. This time of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Lord Zed. Of course, this is the big baddie from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Seasons 2 and 3. And just to start off, I probably want to say this is the absolute greatest Lord Zed action figure we have ever gotten. But hey, spoilers. Anyway, let's, let's dive right into this guy. Well, starting off, let's talk about the looks of the figure. This is an absolutely gorgeous rendition of Lord Zed. This sculpted muscle tissue looks wonderful. And everything is shaded with a nice little black paint wash. And the silver paint on his head and armor, bone things, whatever all that stuff is, you know, it just it seriously makes the entire figure just pop. He's a hulking mass of muscles and an exposed brain, and it just, it looks so good. And so I guess while we're here, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Okay, so uh, the head is on a swivel and a ball joint, so we can move forward and back a whole lot, plus spin around, tilt, do all that fanciness. Uh, the shoulders are on a standard Marvel Legends style set of swivels so you can go up down mostly all around except for these things getting in the way and you can move in and out he's also got a bicep swivel double jointed elbows the wrists on all of his hands are on a peg and swivel so you can spin them around as much as you want plus his chest has a ball joint so he can move around plus he has an ab crunch so that just gives him even more flexibility to do whatever he wants. Moving down to the legs, you've got ball jointed hips, a thigh swivel, a double jointed knee. There is no boot cut, uh, but he does have those, uh, those rocker ankles that go up and down and uh, of course tilt from left to right. The articulation on Lord Zed is phenomenal. It would have been nice to have a boot cut, but that would have pretty much destroyed the sculpt, so I'm fine with it. The biggest issue is, of course, his uh, veins being, you know, separate pieces. But they actually did a, a really good job at minimizing the impact of those things. There is just a, enough slack on most of the individual pieces to get him in some pretty dynamic poses. And the places around the, uh, the knees are... Uh, their own little separate pieces that actually plug into uh, little holes on the side of his legs and stuff. So you don't have to, to run into many problems there. And especially considering that Lord Zed really only needs to stand around, look menacing, and sit down on a throne. You know, I'm, I'm really glad that they pretty much pulled out all the stops when it comes to his articulation. It's just spectacular. But hey, that's not all this figure offers. He also comes with several accessories. He comes, of course, with his trusty staff, uh, but he also comes with two sets of hands, his open emoting hands, but he also comes with his holding hand for his staff, and he comes with a fist so that he can shake his fist angrily at those Power Rangers. Of course, he also comes with one of his silver grenades that he uses to, to make his monsters grow, uh, and he even comes with an effect part for red lightning bolts. Now, for the other figures in this wave, I didn't really care about the effect parts. They're, they're, you know, nice to have, but none of them felt, you know, integral, in my opinion. But Lord Zed pretty much calls forth those red lightning bolts in basically every episode he appears in. So it was really nice to get a really decent effect piece. So my final thoughts, this figure is amazing. The White Ranger's a, a really great figure, but, you know, there are lots of White Ranger figures out there. And if you already have the SH Figure Arts release, you know, you might not be too interested in getting the White Ranger. However, there have been no Lord Zed figures on this level. The articulation, the paint apps, everything about this figure just screams super quality. I don't just recommend him. If you like Power Rangers, you need to get him. He is fantastic. I cannot sing Lord Zed's praises enough. So, if you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button. If you didn't like it, feel free to hit the dislike button. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff if you want to do any of it. Or do none of it. That's fine. I don't really care. 
So thanks for sticking around to the end, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, my babies.